Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to use the hidden imports feature in AutoPy 2 EXE. As usual, we're first going to begin by showing you a problem where we cannot compile our code using AutoPy 2 EXE because there's a different way we're importing modules. And we are going to fix this problem by using the hidden imports feature. So let's first understand how PyInstaller, AutoPy EXE, and any other of these com compilation libraries, how they work, how they import libraries. So when you use this import keyword and then, you know, the name of the library, these libraries, PyInstaller, AutoPy EXE, they can detect these import commands and then they include those libraries within the package so that they can be used by your users, your customers, your clients. So the problem is that when you use an alternate technique to including modules, like uh, conditional uh, importing or dynamic importing, let me show you an example. There's a library called importlib. Importlib can do something like this. Importlib dot include module. And then here you just write a string, okay, like pandas. And now this is going to import the pandas module. It's the same thing as writing import pandas. But the difference is that a library like AutoPy EXE cannot detect that pandas is being imported. Okay, that is the problem. Oh, wait, did I make a mistake? Uh, I don't think that error is correct. Yeah, okay. So let me just run this code. It's being a bit weird. Oh, of course, of course. It's import module. All right, all right, cool. So um, let me just cancel that. Now, what we need to do here is uh, use the hidden imports feature in order for this to be successfully, uh, you know, used. Let me just uh, do something where we create a data frame, okay? Because, you know, Pandas, it has data frames. If you're not familiar, don't worry. I just wanted to, uh, you know, let's create an empty data frame. So if pandas is being successfully imported, let me just run this as a, as a Python file. Yeah, and this is correct. Now I'm gonna open up autopy 2 exe and I'm gonna compile this code now, all right, uh, without using the hidden imports feature. And then I'm gonna show you that after we use the hidden imports feature, it's gonna work. So let's just uh, wait for this to compile, okay? And I'm gonna skip ahead in the video when this is done. Okay, that was pretty quick because there's not much to compile. Let's just open this output folder and over here, let's go down here and click on main.exe. Let's see what happens. And it crashed, okay? Well, I think it crashed anyway because uh, now that's actually a slight problem that we did. We should have done something like this, time.sleep for at least five seconds. So I'm just going to recompile this real quick. Okay, clear out, but recompile that. And if you didn't understand what I'm doing, I'm basically... If you didn't understand why I'm doing this, I'm doing this because I can't tell whether the uh, program crashed or whether it just ended because, you know, the execution was complete. So that's why I'm recompiling this, so that it can be more obvious. Oh boy, okay, now that's definitely a crash. And I, I think I saw a glimmer of a error message over there. So this is definitely crashing. And it's crashing because we don't have pandas included. So when we use this data frame command over here, this data frame function, it's crashing our program. That's the problem over here right now. And it's happening because we're dynamically importing this pandas library. And there are even more weirder ways we can import libraries like this, you know, in indirect manners. This is just one of many, okay? So, yeah, there's many ways that you can, you know, cause your program to crash like this. Now, to solve this, what we're going to do is come over here. In advanced, go down to hidden imports over here. Then I'm, I'm going to type in pandas, okay? And that's it. If you want to include more, like you got multiple hidden imports, just keep clicking this green button, okay? And then you can add them if you need to. Now I'm just going to go back here, clear output, and recompile. And now this should work. 
our program is now fully compiled and I'm sure that it's working that pandas was included because it took way longer to compile this time. So I'll go down here and now uh, open up our exe. It's definitely bigger. And yep, our code is not crashing. It's going to close in five seconds approximately because I did time.sleep. Yep, there we go. So yeah, here I just showed you how we can use the hidden imports feature and most importantly, why and when we need to use this feature. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye then.